cool nerd boy here. Spending another afternoon or morning or night, depending on where you're at and when you're watching this, in the wasteland. That's right. War has ravaged America. Battle for survival is on. And that can only mean one thing. It's time for a camp review. So you know the drill. We're going to pull up the map, take a look around, and find something that's interesting to us. And we'll stop on in there and basically pass judgment. What humans do best, right? So I'm looking for something with a lot of weapons on it. Ten's pretty good. Let's do it. And away we go. Y'all want to hear a dirty joke? A white horse fell in the mud. <laughs> Man, y'all messed up. Y'all keep it clean. As you can see on the screen there, those ghouls were in love when they died. I had to do it, y'all. Didn't have any choice. Alright, so first thing I notice when I load in, not too bad. I'm not falling off a cliff and I'm not staring into a wall. And if you listen to the gameplay, the crickets are out. It's kind of like a Disney movie. Only there's death everywhere. So let's take a look here. Start with a little circle. Yeah, that's cool. Got a couple buildings going on, and it looks like we're inside the golf course. You know, I have never built inside the golf course. Strictly because you would need turrets, I imagine, and that would take up a lot of your build budget. So anyway, away we go. First thing is tall. He needs to put like a monkey up on top there. It looks like King Kong. But I'm really feeling nice and warm and fuzzy inside. It's going to be a good evening. I like the little playground. Let's go for slide. <laughs> so easy access to water. It's going to increase your chances of survival, buddy. Good job. Harness power. Harness the water to provide power. Genius. I like this. Snaptails. This person's probably making relish. Where's the gourds? Oh, you got gourds planted somewhere if you got snaptails there. Yeah, maybe not. Anyway, it looks like this camp is made up of one giant building. And this terrarium, greenhouse, whatever you want to call it. Oh, there the gourds. Nailed it, bro. Let's see if this person's using this structure at all. Nope. So not a ton of stuff going on. Oh, look, there's a creator. This is their camp. I don't know who you are. high so we notice their outdoor garden on these cool floor tiles which I do not have I wish I did they're pretty cool and then the greenhouse has a nice big fat arrow saying come on in and spend some money this is still America you still got money to spend you know it's pretty basic Definitely not crowded in here. And I do love these vendors, so... Definitely at least buying some stuff from the Atomic Shop. But yeah, I ain't got much to say. Great. It's a big old half bowl with some vendors in it. Doesn't look bad. I am going to move on because, frankly, it is boring. Let's see what this person's all about with the house. First off, that's a big old chunk of your build budget. That's why I only build in leases. So I don't have to use them. This is stinking cool. I am going to steal that idea. They are cooking 
a person. That is awesome. You're already getting a little cred from me, my friend. The addition of the sheep squatches. Pretty cool, too. That's, yeah, that's awesome. We got a nice, almost fenced in front porch. Someone's here to greet us. And another turret. That's right, because you're on the golf course. If you don't build on the golf course, you don't need turrets. And if you don't need turrets, you can put up lots of paintings. That didn't sound good. Keep your turrets, never mind. So let's head on inside. See what's happening. There's the owner again. What's up? I'll make you famous. So anyway, the first room appears to be the workshop. And while you're waiting, grab yourself a book and have a seat. Caps cut your fingers? Drop them into mine. Ooh, a traveling merchant. I would check that out, but I don't want to bore y'all any more than I already am. <laughs> Eh, first level's all right. I got a little. I don't love it, and I don't hate it, so it's all right. Moving on up. This is pretty cool. I had not thought of that. There is a rim of half walls with windows above the regular sized walls. Really makes this room feel big. There's our planetarium. Pretty neat. I wonder if it's all that pretty in blue steel. Anyway, go upstairs. That's where he keeps the booze. Apparently this person does not like waking up and walking very far to the bar. And this is the wasteland, so I'm not passing judgment. That's win. I spent a lot of time here decorating. Putting up all these pictures. And I really like when they collect stuff like this. This is clearly something they're proud of, so they're showing it to anyone creepy enough to wander upstairs to their house that has no vendors in it into their bedroom. Namely me. I've said it before, these things are awesome. Let me action figures. More of a collection here. Pretty cool. More of a connection. Responder. Something. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is pretty cool. I like how they put their bed behind the curtains here. A little bit of crap. You know what I'm saying. So. so that's it. Not a ton going on. Pretty basic. I love that top row of windows. This thing right here is going to raise it a rank in my uh, scoring for sure. Because that's awesome. And I'm going to steal your idea. Because you know, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. That means that I am flattering a lot of people, y'all. Too bad they don't know it. It. That is our daily waste and camp review. All in all, on a scale of one to five, it's, it's, I'm gonna go. It's a basic three, say two and a half if it didn't have this thing here. So, true to my word, I need to bump it up one hole. So, I'll give you three and a half. Does that mean I'm a stickler to the rules? Yeah, it does. So, forget that. Give you a three. You take you like your three. You don't throw a fit. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe. If you don't like what you saw, down button man, come on.